Landed the dash attack and reacted. Saw the Pikachu landing on the platform and went for an air choke. The Pikachu did a buffet option, which helps a lot. <laughs> Pikachu is playing really aggressively as soon as they land an attack. I double jumped away as soon as I could and watched the Pikachu overextend. Did a Nair out of hit stun to get the Pikachu off of me, but the Pikachu dashed away. Pikachu might play aggressive in advantage, but they might not overextend as much as I thought they would. After the air choke, the Pikachu retreats and goes into T-Jolt mode. This mode doesn't scare me as long as you understand how the Pikachu uses it. My guess is the Pikachu is going to do T-Jolt into aerials as this Pikachu plays aggressively. Very predictable double jump into T-Jolt since the Pikachu was in T-Jolt mode. Any aerial will beat out the T-Jolt and then most likely hit Pikachu as well. Pikachu recognizes my game plan to jump over the T-Jolt and Nair, so they space retreating aerials as counterplay. For two reasons, this was a bad whiz kick. One, it got baited in by the forward smash, and two, Pikachu had the whole stage to retreat with. First Nair was to cover the Pikachu up being high onto the stage, but also as a bait. I did the second Nair to cover the Pikachu panicking from the ledge. Beautiful play by the Pikachu here. I once again jumped over the T-Jolt and Nair, and they killed me for it. Landed the dash attack and knew the T-Jolts would come and the Pikachu would follow. So I threw out hitboxes where I felt the T-Jolts would go and Pikachu would most likely follow and go straight into those hitboxes. <laughs> Pikachu is in T-Jolt mode again, but this time I stay grounded and I use Whiz Kick to go through them. Spammed Flame Choke when Pikachu was cornered to tell him to jump over me, so I have conditioned him to jump into my aerials once again. Worked like a charm. Forced the Pikachu to worry about my grounded burst options to force him to jump into my aerials once again. This is now where the 50-50 begins. Will I jump over T-Jolt or go through it? This Pikachu is doing a lot of aggressive up -bees out of the corner. This is a weakness I need to take control of. Always watch your opponent and their positioning when you're off stage. This position screamed that the Pikachu was going to edge guard with down B. Pikachu had to pick between re-grabbing the ledge or up being aggressively back on stage. I knew he was going to up be back on stage, so I tried to cover that with fair, but was too slow. Did a low risk forward smash to see if the Pikachu would roll in or do an aerial out of shield, but they stuck to their game plan and they went to the other side of the stage to T-Jolt. Tried to bait out this Pikachu's most common ledge option, which was ledge drop double jump fair by simply empty landing, and followed it by doing a nair to beat out that option. But this Pikachu was patient and got the kill off of my read. As soon as the Pikachu gave up stage, I knew a T-Jolt was coming, and since he was cornered, I felt an aggressive up B was coming, so I did a whiz kick to beat out the T-Jolt, and it worked out. Waited out the down B and then did a fake trump to bait out the Pikachu's most predictable ledge option, but failed once again. Hey! 
saw the cross-up fair coming and just knew the Pikachu wanted to go to the other side of the stage, so I hunted him down with Dash Attack. Last thing you want to do in this situation is to jump or aerial out a shield since the Pikachu is going to do another bear, which can easily lead to an early edge guard situation. So I simply rolled in to play it safe. What I like to do at low percent is to SDI in and up. So the Pikachu racks up percent and as soon as I go off stage, I can DI away and Pikachu has next to no follow ups. The platform is safe and I can't get hit by T-Jolt, so I used this to my advantage and I almost landed a fair for the Pikachu doing too many T-Jolts. Went for a hard read to try and finish the game. I knew the Pikachu was going to double jump, so I tried to high profile it with down air. For the last 10 or so seconds, the Pikachu has only been doing aerials, so I waited for the cross-up aerial and punished it with a flame choke. Got the Pikachu off stage and reacted to the double jump. I positioned myself perfectly to punish the Pikachu from up being back on stage. This Pikachu's advantage state was quite aggressive, and even though their neutral was too, they definitely kept it simple with T-Jolting. This at worst for their opponent is a 50-50, but it simply comes down to how you verse it. Do you jump over the T-Jolt and land with an aerial, or do you stay grounded by shielding or whiz kicking through it? Keep it simple and look out for other main weaknesses to arise and abuse.